let's talk about Wade. You mentioned it uh, a second ago. Big Ten and SEC are partnering up to address the issues on the mostly the college football front, but I think this speaks for like college athletics as a whole. Um, is this the beginning of the Super Conference as we know it? That eventually they'll just merge into one, or is this just kind of like holding the NCAA accountable? Because at what point? Can you they the schools just say no to the NCAA like the whole Tennessee thing with the allegations that they brought forward? Tennessee is counter suing them to finally say like, look, we're this doesn't make any sense. You can't come in at at the eleventh hour and be like, oh, what you did is illegal when it's legal in our state. So have y'all seen anything on this new like committee that's forming? I saw the headline, but I don't know anything else about it. I think it's the start of like a new alliance, like a like a new power five, if you will, because now we're down to the power four. So I, I think eventually you're going to have like, I, I don't know, like it, it's already kind of an unspoken thing, but you're only going to see teams from like the top 50, you know, programs make the playoff and be eligible for championships. Right now, you know, they do take one of the power six or group of six schools right. into consideration but i think we could see that tweak to where there's like you know this top 50 kind of echelon of college football and that's what the college football playoff will be and then i think you'll see like a group of five tournament in a, in a sense and then you'll still have your fcs and your uh division two division three so i think it's the start of that and i think that it would be mainly all the current members of the big 10 and the sec and then I think you would see um, maybe a few of the elite ACC members and then some of the Big 12 members kind of make that jump up uh, so that you would have about 40 to 50 teams total. Well, with I think if you combine like a Big 10 and an SEC, some of these bottom feeding teams are going to be kicked out. Like Vanderbilt, they're not going to be just riding amazing. the coattails. <laughs> Or like we're talking a, a Rutgers from the Big Ten, like somebody like that's not. Oh yeah, making if the Big the Ten decision, could turn right? them back in and get like Clemson or Florida State or something. Right. They would totally do it. I think for right now, this is mostly just like a to call the NCAA on their bullshit, really, because of like what they're doing and all these. You had the uh, Florida State issue um, with their booster. Like, are their coach delivering, like, driving the recruit to the booster? Yeah, this Tennessee stuff is all perfectly legal. Like, the collect, the collective is paying whatever his name is, I believe. Uh, I don't know how he says last name, but their quarterback, their new starting quarterback, rumors of eight million dollars for him to to go there, which is absurd. Never like, even paying, played for them. You're paying, <laughs> you're paying a high school recruit eight million dollars. Like, here you go. We, we just hope you don't transfer next year when you, you know, don't play good or Tennessee sucks or something like that. Um, and, of course, they're, they're saying, oh, the, y'all, y'all screwed up. This is wrong. But it's like it's not really wrong because there's no rules. So um, I think it's more just like a committee to check the NCAA and eventually probably break away and have their own playoffs and their own rules and relegations where they don't need the NCAA anymore. But, Tyler, maybe this is where our – theory from a couple weeks ago of Nick Saban being the college football commissioner comes into play. What do you think? Yeah, maybe so. Uh, speaking of uh, Nick Saban, uh, Buffalo back, James Cook had something to say about that. He's saying that maybe the playoff committee knew about Nick Saban retiring. That's why Alabama got in. He obviously, he's a Georgia alum, and so he was talking very highly that uh, Georgia would have won it all if, if the Bulldogs. Uh, but my thing is you got to beat them on the field. I mean, I, I, I'm still – I'm going to like beat the table all that you want that Florida State should have been in the playoff, but I just don't think that would have mattered. I mean, looks like Michigan would probably would have won it all no matter what it was. I think that Texas and Washington gave us a good game, uh, but I definitely think uh, Nick Saban being the commissioner is never going to happen. I just think that these conferences are just going to do whatever the hell that they want because that's what they've been doing pretty much the entirety of it. The NCAA really has no power. They got a bunch of idiots uh, like running it anyways. Uh, so I think that's the Big the Ten and the SEC are going to start leading the way. I think that in football in general, they're going to be the power two conferences. That's probably where you're going to see most of the teams get into the 12-team playoff. And then pretty much everybody else 
is going to be riding the coattails. Uh, so I think that the Big Ten and the SEC, this is like their first step of becoming like the power two conferences in college sports and college athletics. So the current president of the NCAA is Charlie Baker, who is the former governor of Massachusetts. Huh. No comment. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, does he have any ties to like a football, like a, a school, or uh, look at the playoff like committee? Like try to go like, away from like athletics. dudes like in the army and D yeah. two athletic directors. Like they're just picking these people off the streets, pretty much. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, it's say what you want to say. Will anything happen? Who knows? I think the schools are eventually just going to stop listening to them and. Possibly form their own. It could uh, be a non-sanctioned NCAA championship. Like you could have the scholarships come from the schools and money that they get from this alliance, and it, it could be that like the top fifty college football teams don't play in the NCAA. It could be like just I don't know something independent. This could be the start of breaking away. So hmm. yeah, but it, like if you. It, there's if you break away or your national championship's gonna have like a little asterisk next to it, like non NCAA. Not necessarily, like, point, who cares if you look at like that team, like uh, a sport that maybe the NCAA doesn't offer, like you know, like a badminton. Yeah, like if the men's badminton team at Alabama is the best men's badminton team, nobody's gonna say they didn't win the national championship. Like they won the top tier competition at their sport. That would be with us. That's true. More to come on that, I'm sure, as the offseason unfolds.